Hello friends, today we'll talk about the revised guidelines of PhD coursework of Swami Ramananda Tirth Maratwara University, Nanded. These guidelines were published on 14th of August 2021. These guidelines are named as revised structure of PhD coursework to be undertaken by all PhD students registered at SRTM University, Nanded. In this structure, in all, there are five papers, out of which three papers are to be taught at the research center, and the examination of these three papers will be conducted by the university. Let us see all the five papers one by one. The title of the paper number one is Research Methodology. This paper has three credits, each credit carries 25 marks. In all, there are 75 marks. University will conduct an examination of this paper. This will be an examination of three hours. And the passing percentage required for research methodology is 50. This is the first paper and compulsory for all. Paper number two is computer application section A. Computer application section A has two credits. That means it has 50 marks and the duration of the examination is two hours. University will conduct its examination and its passing criteria is again 50%. Computer application section B has one credit and it has 25 marks. These 25 marks are to be awarded by the supervisor. This is called continuous internal evaluation by concerned supervisor. One test of 25 marks is supposed to be conducted by the supervisor and the passing criteria for this is also 50%. Paper number three is research and publication ethics. In the paper research and publication ethics, there are two credits, that means there are 50 marks in all because each credit carries 25 marks. University will conduct the examination. This will be an examination of two hours and passing criteria for this is also 50%. This is about paper number one, two and three. University is going to conduct the examination of paper of research methodology, paper of computer application part A and paper of research and publication ethics these three papers. Computer application section B, it is continuous assessment of 25 marks, which is to be awarded by the supervisor of the concerned research scholar. Okay, now let's talk about paper number five and paper number four. In paper number four, the title is Foundation and Philosophy of Research. This is based on basic knowledge of the core research domain. It has got four credits that means it has 100 marks but these 100 marks are to be awarded to the students with continuous internal evaluation by the concerned supervisor these 100 marks are classified into 40 40 and 20 marks 40 marks are to be given for reading test and assignment Another 40 marks for two tests and two assignments. Design of experiments and method carries 20 marks. A student is supposed to score 50% of the marks if he wants to pass foundation and philosophy of research, which is based on the basic knowledge of core research domain. And paper number five is paper on research topic. It is specifically related to your research topic, which carries four credits and there are 100 marks for it. It includes seminar, conferences, symposium, participation for one credit, that is for 25 marks, research paper, publication, etc. for one credit, that is for 25 marks, workshop, training related subject, one credit for 25 marks and preparation of research proposal one credit for 25 marks so in all these are 100 marks classified into four different categories 
Here also, a student is supposed to score minimum of 50% of the marks to qualify the paper. Now, there are some instructions given for the students. There are four instructions which you need to read carefully. You can see here in the video also. I'll read them out for you. One is, internal evaluation shall be carried out by the supervisor. Record of evaluation are to be kept with supervisor till the award of PhD degree. And the consolidated marks statement should be submitted to the university through the research center. Number two, research student must pass in paper number one, two, three of pre-PhD coursework to qualify for submission of pre-synopsis for confirmation of registration and research topic by concerned RRC and other evaluation related to paper number four and five, that is internal evaluation to be carried out by research supervisor should be submitted before submission of final PhD synopsis to the university. Number three, the above raised structure shall be applicable to the research students to whom supervisors have been allocated by RRC after PET 2020 and onwards. And the last one, as per university circular dated number PG 2011-1245 dated 26-6-2021, exemption will be given to the students who have passed the MPhil examination with subject research methodology and computer application oblique information technology. These were the notes given by the university for the students. We have to make note of it and act accordingly. Thank you very much for watching this video.